gonna go in for this pinky one here. Oh, wow. Oh, that's gorgeous. And look, they all have little bat signals pressed into them. That's so cute. So this is the Marilyn Monroe one. in one. Um, in this one there were a few Revlon pieces and in the other box there are a bunch of items from, if I remember correctly, Revolution London, I think is the name. But before we get into all the makeup, I'm just gonna spend a few minutes making some sleepy cardboard sounds. If you just want to see the makeup, see what's inside, feel free to skip ahead. Timestamps are down below. Otherwise, enjoy the sleepy sounds. So now that we're hopefully nice and relaxed, let me grab the makeup. So here is all the Revlon stuff that I got. Um, I got it from Vent Privé. 
um, which is like a discount online shop that has different um, brands. They add a few brands per day. Um, this was from Vent Privé and the other package is from um, Showroom Privé, which is kind of a very similar site. But since I only got a few things, I thought I would do like a group haul or makeup. So this is my staple um, foundation. I usually get it in the um, combination to oily skin, but I have noticed that in the cooler months, my skin is starting to get a lot drier in general and I'm starting to like a little bit more of a dewy foundation um, more like going in for like a CC cream or a BB cream, something like that but if I want like a little more coverage I do still like my Revlon um, color stain so I thought I would get the same, same color, and go for the normal to dry skin, and dry it out. And maybe, I don't know if I can mix, I know you can mix like two different shades and stuff, but can you mix two types of foundation, like a normal to dry and a combination to oily, or will that just like separate like oil and water? I don't know. I'll have to see. So yeah, I have it in color 220 Natural Beige and I actually was wondering if I would need it in a different color like um, as it is a different formula slightly I don't know In the summer I need to mix this with like a slightly darker foundation I'm mixing it with the Bourgeois hmm, what's it called? Healthy Mix Healthy Glow, Healthy healthy Mix Foundation? I don't remember. I'll write it on screen. I can't remember. But I guess if I can mix two different types of foundation, like two different brands, I can probably mix two of the same brand. Even easier. Let's see. So yeah, so I just got two of them because the price was pretty good. And I'm kind of confident that I like it just because this is the foundation I've been using for years and it's just a slightly different formula and we're having a bit of a heat wave here in France well, in Europe in general I think you probably noticed um, obviously in the south of Europe it's a lot worse like I know in Spain and like further south um, there's a lot of fires and it's really bad it's getting really bad sometimes. Um, in France, it's not perfect, but in the north of France where I am, I think they go up to like 41 degrees, which I think in Fahrenheit is like 105 or something. Um, 105, 106, I can't remember. Which is already way too much for me. But yeah, we only had that for one day. But I know some places at the moment are getting like really, really hot weather. Ooh, talking about hot weather, tanning. <laughs> okay, so we have Revlon Skin Lights and it is Can Tan Bronzer. I actually used to live in Can just for one year. So yeah, I'm wondering if it's too dark for me, but it didn't look too bad online. It was like the lightest color, second lightest maybe? Yeah, it's number two. Let me just find the little opening for the sticker. quite heavy. I wonder if it's product or if it's just packaging because look how thick that is. What have we got? 9.2 grams of product. That's actually quite 
quite a lot. Wait, does this come out? Oh, it opens up. What's under here? Is it a puff? It's a puff. That's strange. I wouldn't think of um, applying this with a puff. Oh, and a mirror. Okay. I get the mirror. I get that. Oh. Um, but the puff, would you apply bronzer with a puff? I mean, I guess they probably used to, but I don't know if I would. It's cute though, the little puff. Got Revlon written on it, and then it's all nice and soft. Like velvety. Sounds nice. <laughs> I might end up using it for powder or something, but not bronzer, because how are you going to blend that in? I don't know, maybe it's like a very like transparent or not very pigmented. Just pop this puff back. Okay, let me do a little swatch. It's going to be difficult to swatch with all these rings on. Okay. Okay, yeah, it's not like super, super dark or pigmented. Can see it's still quite natural looking like I swatched it twice it has a smell to it what is that smell I smelt it when I was swatching but I don't smell it anymore mm. okay well, it's not so bad I think that could be quite nice nicely blended <laughs> um, I like to like add this kind of bronzer as contour, um, especially if it's matte like this one. This one's pretty matte. And then I will go in and contour my eyes as well before putting my eye makeup on. Or that's basically my eye makeup. I just like swish it in from the temple right down into the eye socket. I don't know. I don't know if that's a good technique, but that's how I do it. Okay, we have a little lip product. I know, me with a lip product. Crazy. But it is a lip tint, which is my favourite type of lip product and pretty much the only one I ever use. Um, because I don't really like the feeling of anything on my lips. So I really want just to tint my lips and then just have nothing. Maybe like a, um, a clear, not balm, but like, I don't know, like, um, what's it called? Like Vaseline type um, of product on top. Okay, so yeah, this is Cushion Lip Tint Revlon Kiss. What's the shade number? Don't see a shade number there. Ah, 210 Pretty Kiss Bobiso. It's a clicky one. It says twist. I think that's to turn, like, move it up. No? Okay, I see. It is a very large um, applicator. And then we have a thing that you turn and it clicks. I'm guessing the product is going to come out. Let me just click this, like, without breaking your ears. You can see it's starting to appear. We're not getting much of a tint yet, but you can see it's... It started. Oh, there we go. Or like a dabbing it on kind of thing rather than a swipe. Okay, that's pretty nice and natural. I think that could be buildable. We'll just let that sit for a while and see. It looks really natural. I like it. I think I'm gonna like it. Yeah. What's it called again? Pretty Kiss. It looks really nice. I think I'm gonna like it. I really like a barely there kind of lip for me. I'm really like pale and just like I don't want it to be like wow. You know? 
some people look amazing with like pop of colour, like bold red lip kind of thing, just not me. <laughs> okay, we have, oh it's got a built in brush, I didn't notice that. Okay, so it's cream eyeshadow, colour stay, 730 praline, 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 what do we say? Praline, praline? I don't know. I know in French it's praline. Okay, let me just remove this. It's quite heavy because it's glass, but I don't know like how much product we have. 5.2 grams of product. Yeah, I mean it's just like a normal kind of little pan. I feel like the um, the cream eyeshadows they have it used to be bigger though. Like that's just like a disc of glass with some product in the like lid part, if you know what I mean. Can you see that? It's literally only in the lid slash screw part. <laughs> okay, and what do we have here? Some sort of brush. Oh, cute. So it just kind of slides out like so, slides back in and you can use it just for this. I would usually use my fingers to be honest um, with a cream eyeshadow. Let me just swatch it. Oh, it's going to be difficult with my nails getting it in there. Ah. Yeah, it's working, kind of. Just try and get a little extra. Okay, yeah, that's my kind of color. Very natural. And I probably have already shaded my eyelids with this. And then I'm going to add some of that on top. It would be pretty cute. Okay. As you can probably tell, my look in general is barely there makeup. Look at that. want to focus. There we go. So yeah. Oh, it looks like my burn is a swatch. <laughs> One, two, three, four swatches. <laughs> no, no, no. Okay, let me just remove this lip product to see what the tint leaves behind. Grab a tissue. So I'm not getting much left behind there. I don't know if you can even pick up anything on camera. But I guess I'll have to try it. I didn't put much on, but I would have expected more of a tint left behind. I guess on your hand is one thing, but on your lips it's different. So I'll check it out. Okay, so that is everything that I got from Revlon. Um, I really wanted this because I used to have a bunch of these. I really liked them. What was the name of the one that I loved? It was like taupe or something, something taupe. I don't remember, but it's, it was similar. It was a bit darker than this though, um, color wise. It was more taupe, obviously. Okay, so let me grab the other package. Okay, we have a whole bunch of packing. Some protection. Oh, it looks amazing. Okay, let me grab all this stuff and show you everything one by one. Oh, I'm really excited. Okay, first things first is this little L'Oreal Paris Revitalift Laser Times 3 FPS 20. What's it, FPS? Like SPF? Why is it backwards? Oh, probably because it's French. Yeah. So yeah, little um, tester. I'm not really sure what Revitalift is. Anti-aging cream kind of thing. I've heard that so many times though. Revitalift. So yeah, nice little tester. Most of the time I do appreciate a good tester. Okay. Let me 
um, I just pop this to the side because the things I got, well, the first things are quite large, so how cute is this? <laughs> so, friends, revolution. So, revolution is the name. Um, revolution Pro, Revolution, um, Revolution London. Okay. So I don't know if it's the same as I Heart Revolution. I got something similar, but it was kind of more kids kind of style, but it seems more, yeah. Anyway, so friends masks, <laughs> they're like face masks linked to um, the characters from Friends and like different things. So we have Phoebe, which is a pineapple mask, which I'm guessing is, yeah, it's the lobster. Um, she's your lobster. I get that. <laughs> we have Monica, which is niacinamide. Don't, I've seen that word before, but I don't know what it is. So we have Monica here, and it's got the little um, frame that was around the keyhole in their apartment. Cute. And then we have Rachel, who is hyaluronic. And it's um, Central Park, where she worked. So yeah, three little face masks. So cleanse your face, leave on for 15 minutes, 10 to 15, and rinse off with warm water. So it's a rinse off one. Um, let me just open this here. Okay, so I know this is really unsatisfying and really maybe triggering for some people, <laughs> but I really hate those little stickers when I've got um, press on nails on. It's really difficult to like get those little stickers off and it takes a long time and otherwise you're just gonna pop a nail off and it's just it's not worth it so sorry okay so we have the masks oh that's so cute Ta -da. it's like an old like you know like a series DVD kind of thing where you have them all like So yeah, we have Phoebe Pineapple, Vitamin C Pineapple Sheet Mask, Monica Pore Refining, Niacinamide Sheet Mask, I've definitely seen that word before, <laughs> ingredient wise, and then Rachel is a Hydrating Hyaluronic Sheet Mask, they are gorgeous, it's not lovely. I don't know why, but I feel like I'm going to enjoy using these face masks more than I would other face masks. It doesn't make any sense because it's the same thing, but it's Friends. <laughs> um, I heard that if you rewatch Friends or if like the younger generation watches Friends, you can see like a lot of problematic kind of male-female things going on and like a lot of like cringy things just you know and I can totally understand that. <laughs> if I was to go back and watch Friends now I think I would feel the same especially like with Joey and how he's like with women and I don't know like just a whole bunch of stuff <laughs> it's really strange to think that because it was such a huge thing for our generation growing up and the generation before us I guess is like as well. But yeah. So obviously I didn't just get the women's ones, I got the guys ones. <laughs> so we have Joey who is a salicylic, so salicylic acid and it's a Subway sandwich of course. Or a sub, I don't think it's Subway like the brand, I think that's just a meatball sub, that's like the name of the type of sandwich, a sub, I think. Um, we have Ross, who is tea tree, and we have a little monkey, it's Marcel. Oh, <laughs> I didn't like that monkey. <laughs> I think I would have got really frustrated um, with the monkey <laughs> in real life. I would have been really scared of it. Okay, so then we have Chandler, pink clay, and for Chandler we have something that's not really linked to Chandler. 
It's more linked to Monica. It's like the turkey with glasses, which Monica had on her head. Strange. They could have found something that was more linked to Chandler. Am I thinking straight? It was... Yeah, it was Monica that had that on her head, not Chandler. Well, anyway. If anybody knows why that's linked to Chandler, let me know. I'm just going to directly rip this out, sorry. There we go. I don't remember how much these were, but I remember thinking it wasn't bad price-wise, but I guess it was on like the sale site, kind of like reductions and stuff. Okay, so we have Joey Clear Complexion Salicylic. So salicylic acid. Oh, it's not um, meatballs. It's like cold meat and cheese. I don't know. What they call it? Like a salami sandwich or something? Salami sub? I don't know. I'm not American. <laughs> okay. So then we have Ross. Little Marcel. Um, Anti-blemish tea tree sheet mask. I think I'll like this one. I love tea tree. Treat well, it smells gorgeous. And then Chandler is a detox pink clay. Mm, that should be cool too. So yeah, I think these are all um, wash off too. Yeah, all wash off ones. Usually um, the sheet masks are not wash off ones. In my limited experience with sheet masks, but um, yeah. I know. I'll just probably pop one of these on before a shower. And then I can just go directly in the shower and wash it off. Once I've removed the sheet mask. So yeah, I've got a whole bunch of friends related masks. <laughs> cute. I forgot I'd gotten that. I got a Batman palette. How cute is that? Oh. Um, I remember now um, why I was so drawn to getting this stuff because it was all like collaborations and stuff. I am a sucker for a collaboration. Okay, so we have Revolution, Makeup Revolution London, Batman Shadow Palette, Shades, oh the Shades don't have names. They're one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. They have they have little stars next to some of them. Three, seven, and nine. Who is that? Pressed pigment. Okay. Cool. Okay, let me just pop this open at the bottom. I think my son's gonna be impressed that I have a Batman makeup palette. What do you think? Oh, that's so cool. Like, you can see it has like little bats on it. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, it's really nice, guys. It's like, um, is it magnetized? Yeah. It's like a cardboard magnetized one with like all this like foiled detailing on it. Little glittery bats. It's not who I am underneath, but what I do that defines me. Okay. Let's have a look at the colors. I think they're going to be pretty dark. Oh, they do have names. They're just inside. Oh, that's cute. Okay, we have a little mirror. Oh, it's pretty good. Here we have Dark, Night, Vengeance, Gotham, City, Batman, Hero, Fear, and Mr. Wayne. And look, they all have little bat signals pressed in. At the 
glittery ones. They don't, but I'm guessing. Yeah, all the matte ones have little um, bat signals on them. Are the glittery ones the ones that are pigment? Press pigment? No. Three, seven, nine. Three, seven, and nine. It's pretty random. Why are these ones um, press pigment and the others not? Do I just not know what that is? Well, I honestly, I thought it was going to be the ones that were glittery. Shows how much I know. Okay, let's swatch a few of them. Just need to remove this kind of protection. Oh, the protection has the names on them. Okay. So yeah, that's a shame. All the names come off. <laughs> but it's fine. The colors look really nice. Look at that yellow. It's pretty. I don't know how much I'm going to be able to use a yellow like that. Maybe if I use like a nice thin black liner first so it kind of separates it from my coloring and, you know, <laughs> my eyes. <laughs> but yeah. Oh, it looks pretty. Oh no. I made a little mark in this one. Okay, I'm going to swatch this one because I already made a mark in it. Go for it. Okay. Maybe I should have did it on the other hand. But okay, not so bad. It's not too powdery. Payoff is alright. It's kind of like um, a very orangey brown. I quite like it. Usable. Okay, where shall we go next? Let's do the. I want to do the yellow, but I don't want to dig my nail into the others, so I'm just gonna do the goldy one. Because <laughs> I'm interested in the goldy one. Oh, that looks nice. Oh, yes, it transfers nicely. Look at that. Oh, I think I'm gonna like that. That's gorgeous. I hope it has like some staying power. It's really like foily even, I would say. That's really nice. Okay, one more. What one should we go for? Um, I really want to go for the yellow. Okay, I'm just going to go for the yellow and be careful. There we go. Please be good. A little yellow. Oh, it's quite nice. It looks a little sickly, a little green um, swatch there on my hand but <laughs> I guess it's how you use it, isn't it? I have no idea how I'm going to use that. I thought it would be a little more like on the ochre orangey side but, you know, we'll see <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to use it but I want to I already have the battle wanting to so yeah pretty nice. Okay, I'm not going to swatch everything I think I'm going to really like that palette. Oh, it's so nice. Okay, let me just um, get rid of this and I'll be back. Okay, so next we have a really fun kind of duo, I guess. Two really fun, cute things. We have a crystal eye quad in pink topaz. And look at the texture on that. Can you see it? All of these cool little crystals all over it. I'm just thinking ASMR wise. I'm not there yet. Let's have unboxed it. And then here we have, oh, here we can actually see what the colors are. In white pearl is the name but maybe because of the texture also. So this is a Marilyn Monroe Eye Quad Palette. Also a four little quad. Okay, let me pop these open. Oh, wow. It's as thick as the packaging was, and it's pretty heavy. 
Okay, I actually am more excited to hear what this sounds like than actually what's inside. Oh, wow. Oh, that's nice. It's gorgeous. So pretty and textured. It catches the light in all directions. That's so pretty. Wow. I really hope I like the colors too. Does it say on the bottom? No. I'm guessing it probably has a mirror. Feels like actually it's plastic, not metal. That's fine. Yeah, we have a nice size mirror here. And then here are the four colors. This one is pretty much just the color of the top almost. They're very swishy and pretty. Okay, let me swatch these on this hand because this one's pretty swatched out. I'm gonna go in for this pinky one here. Oh, wow. Oh, that's gorgeous. And that wasn't even the one that I thought was gonna be the most like, wow. Okay, we'll go in for this one. I can feel a texture to them that I didn't know was gonna be there. Okay, this one. This one feels a bit smoother. Oh, wow. That's intense. Okay, let's go for this sparkly one. Please, please, please be gorgeous. Oh, it's amazing. Oh, wow, that's got chunks of glitter though. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Wow. I don't know how many occasions I will have to wear this, but it's amazing. Isn't that just gorgeous? I can feel like texture to it, like this one. <laughs> like the swatches, like my fingers are just like as pigmented as the swatches I did and I just went in once. That's amazing. Wow. Yeah. Oh, I'm really excited. That's really cute. Can you see there's like a bit of texture to it and they actually, they're like little waves. Like it goes like that. You can see it. Maybe if I did that, you can see. Mm, not really. But they're like little beach waves. Oh, there you can see it. It's like dips under, goes up. And then you have obviously the lines, like the sand, you know. Oh, that's absolutely gorgeous. Good job. Resolution. I love this palette. It's absolutely beautiful. I feel like I might be making some sounds to finish the video. The texture here. Okay, so <laughs> that's a lot. Okay, let me open this one, the Marilyn Monroe one. It's a very similar format. Look at it. Oh, that's gorgeous. Look how 3D that is. So this is the Marilyn Monroe one. The pearls. It's very pretty. It's very vintage -y. Okay. Let's see our pearly colors. Oh, look at that. Again with the mirror. Wow. Oh, so pretty. So yeah, that obviously has like a little kind of diamondy pressed pattern. Okay, where am I gonna swatch these? These fingers are a little difficult to get off with just a tissue. There's still a lot of glitter from this on there. So I could try and swatch it there. Let's try. Okay. Go in for this one here. Oh, nice. I 
I like that color a lot. Similar to this one, but a bit lighter and more like taupe. Okay, we're going in for a kind of gold color here. Ooh, nice. Also nice. I can kind of feel a texture to it though that I don't know if I would like on my eyes, but I'll have to see how it wears. Okay, this one is like silver. This one I feel like has glitter. Wow. Okay, it's actually darker than I thought it was gonna be. It's more of a grey tone than like a bright silver. Nice. Okay, and this one, this last one, a little champagne-y looking one. Okay. Oh, yeah, I like that one too. Wow. Okay, that is well and truly swatched. Look at that hand. Very pretty. I don't know if you can see the texture though. I can. Like, I can see it on me, but I don't know if it's something that is going to disappear when it's blended out or not. Does anyone have any experience with this type of eyeshadow? Where it's almost like glittery particles kind of thing. But it's not quite glittery. Well, this one definitely is. This is like full-on glitter. With like chunks of glitter. others. Not quite, but there is a kind of texture. Yeah, I'll have to see how it blends out. Okay, so that is the Marilyn Monroe one. Very pretty. I can see between the pearls. If you look between, I don't even know if it picks it up yet, kind of done. There's like little, tiny little glittery bits underneath to fill in the space between the pearls. Can you see that? It's a nice little touch to make it look completely full, you know? Look how shiny my hand is. <laughs> Before I film my next video, I really need to go and wash my hands because these swatches are not going to come off <laughs> with just a tissue. I'm going to need to properly soap it up. Okay, so yeah, we have the yellow and orange and gold from the Batman palette. What was that again? Uh, that was the Revlon um, cream eyeshadow. The bronzer is there but it's looking like it's disappeared compared to all the other swatches. And then the lip stain is very slightly, like very very slightly there. You can't even pick it up on camera I don't think. I'll have to see. But that might suit me though because I really don't like anything too out there. Then we have these swatches here. Oh, I have something on my knuckle. Is that fallout or did I touch my hand with my swatchy hands? I don't know. I think I touched it. <laughs> so yeah, this is the kind of crystally one, the pink crystals. And this is the pearl. So here is everything that I got from my two little hauls there. I'm actually pleasantly surprised by the Revolution stuff. I did think it was kind of like kids makeup, but it's actually pretty nice. It's really pretty. I'm happy with my Revlon stuff. Before I let you drift off to some pretty cup sounds, I am going to say goodnight to all my little sleepy squirrels. I hope that you are well, wherever you are in the world, whatever's happening around you. I hope that you can find your own. For example, if you are in Kansas, in the US, like Cassie McNary. Hey Cassie, I hope you're well. 
and I hope that you all have a lovely, lovely, lovely evening. And I'll see you.